G'day guys, I'm back twice in one day. Woohoo! I am still trying to organise or decide what colours to do on my huge 180 centimetre canvas. So, um, last one I did was blues and gold with the white swipe. And today, again, I think I'll try blues and silver with the white swipe, just to see how that goes. Um, Practicing on one of my little cardboard sheets, 400 gram cardboard sheet. It's a good weight, 30 by 40 centimeters. Paints are global paints, as opposed to the global flow paints. These are quite a thick, creamy paint, and I've mixed them three parts flow troll to one part paint. So in each little cup, I have. 45 grams of Floetrol and 15 grams of paint, so 60 grams. And I'm going to add two drops of coconut milk hair serum. I've just popped it into my little squeeze bottle so I can easily get a drop out. So two drops in each. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's a navy blue, which is um, cool blue and a little bit of black. That one's cool blue, and this is cobalt blue. The silver, because metallics act differently to the other acrylics, they need to be mixed a little bit thicker. So that's two parts flow troll and one part paint. I've got a lot of pale aqua here, so I'm going to add four, three drops. Three drops. Now, just one, two, two little stirs. That's all you need. One, two, one, two. Stir it any more than that, it'll break the silicone up and you'll have tiny little cells. So, with this pour that I did earlier, I poured vertical lines and swiped with the grain of the paint. With this one, I'm going to pour horizontally and swipe against the grain of the paint. So I'm going to start with the navy blue. Leave a little bit of space for the white at the top. I'm going to leave a little gap in between because I'm going to tilt, make sure that we've covered the canvas. I can always add more paint if we need to. So there's a little bit left in the cup. Cobalt. The silver I'm not going to actually pour as a stripe. I like to pour the metallics over the top of the other colours because it's the metallic paint that seems to make nice big cells. It stretches them. Now because we're going to pull the paint down this way, the last colour pretty much gets dragged off. So always need double the amount of your last colour so you don't lose it all. Now silver, as I said I'm just going to drizzle that through. Silver makes the nice big cells. Now hold on to the corners of your little card here so you don't lose it. And just tilt to cover the gaps. Pour a little bit of paint off. There's a lot of paint on here. If you have too much paint on your canvas or on your card, the, um, the cells, again, they stretch when the paint moves. So if you don't want terribly big cells like these, these I don't particularly like. They're sort of stretched out of shape. They're not nice and round and separate. So it's probably a little bit too much can um, paint on that canvas as well. 
So once your paint slows down and isn't really pouring off the side anymore, then you know that you've taken enough off. does not have any silicone in it. I've also made it thinner. It's a ratio of four parts Floetrol to one part paint. If your white or your swipe colour is too thick, then when you pour, the bottom colours can't come up through it. And you have a massive white at the top there, which isn't really what you want. Ready to go. Now, as before, my swiper is a sheet of plastic cut out from an A3 document holder. And just touch the white. Don't put any pressure on your, your swiper. Just lay it down and gently pull towards you. Wipe the bottom of your swiper onto your little cloth or whatever you've got. This is a puppy piddle pad. I find they work great. Okay, now I'm just going to wait. If you do want to do your edges, you can use um, a little paint chip card. one at the moment but for the sake of this experiment I'm not terribly fussed about the edges. So at the top here we'll get our dark cells and then in the middle we'll get the cool blue and we'll get the cobalt and then down here we'll get the aqua and because we've dragged the other colours over we will get two shades like there, and that one, there's two shades of blue there. You can see the silver coming up inside the navy, and then inside that there's the cool blue as well, and that's the paint rubbing over each other, mixing in together. Darker colours go to the bottom. The hair serum or oil brings the colours up to the top, brings the different colours, as you can see, if you've got layered colours, it brings two or three different colours up with it, which is what we like with our cells. We like them to be multicoloured. And the cells that have got the silver on them are likely to get bigger. Now, I want to see what happens with not really torching very much. When I did this one, I torched straight away. What happens with the torching, obviously it heats the paint. When the paint heats up it melts, gets hot, it melts and it runs. So you lose those nice round cell shapes when you heat your paint. So I'm going to try not to do it. I will probably just torch at the top here where the paints, the white paint's a bit thicker and it's difficult for the, the colour to come through. It's a few little cells coming through. And then down here, where there's not much white at all, there's more cells because it's easier for the silicone to pop through. It doesn't have any white pushing down on it so it can come through. And that's what the heat gun does. It helps the silicone to come through. I've just got one of these heat guns. I'm just going to torch the top there. I'm not going to torch down the bottom because these little cells here will grow in time. I don't want them to grow too much. And this is a new can of butane, so it does that. It flares up. There we go, and that's all we're going to do. Even that little bit of heat has made a big difference. Cells popping up. Where too much heat's gone on, you get that. As I said, the paint gets too hot, 
melts, pushes away, and you get these, well, I think, ugly cells. I much prefer the round cells that stay in shape rather than smooshing all together. So I'm deciding whether to do on my big canvas this colour scheme, blues with silver, with white, or blues with gold and white. Feel free to leave me a message in your comments. Tell me which one you prefer. It's a big decision. It's a huge canvas. It's going to take about four litres of paint. So I want to get it right. I can't afford to waste all that paint and flow troll. Now I know this is taking a bit of time. Mm. Don't particularly want to wait and watch cells pop up, do you? Let me old torch just a little bit over here from really high up, so I'm not going to heat the paint too much. Just there. torch. It really is. You want instant cells. But in the long run, it's better just to wait. Let the cells come up naturally. But we are impatient. So really pretty cells coming up here. I've got about you know, three different colours in the cells. I don't know if you can see them. said before it's important to make sure that you don't have too much paint on your canvas. I haven't used all my paint there's still some left. Put it on, leave a bit of space between your lines, tilt, tilt, make sure you haven't got too much paint on your canvas otherwise um, when your paint runs around uh, your cells will stretch. I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more up here where the white is a bit thicker. Probably not terribly much more happening up here. So, let me know what you think anyway. Whether you like this look of the cells a little bit more separate with just blue, silver and white or whether you like the cells that are more bigger, not so much white space in between them and blue and gold. Okay, see you next time.